So if a pro player ever thinks that they're owed money, it's not uncommon to find them shouting about it on Twitter until somebody pays attention. Take this story, for example. A former Siege pro tweets out that his org owes him and his roster allegedly $11,000. The tweet blows up, people get pissed, the org pays the money, problem solved, right? Well, not really, because apparently the org never owed anybody any money. Ubisoft did. So our YouTube channel, we're putting out new videos all the time. Hell, this Don't At Me is a follow-up from a video we put out six months ago. So if there's something that you want to see more of, or you think there's a specific story we should be covering, subscribe to the channel, leave us a comment below, and hell, if you want to go nuts, send us a tips email. Okay, back to the story. So back in September, former Luminosity Gaming Siege Pro Factor tweeted out that LG owed him prize money from Pro League Season 11 and two other pretty big tournaments. And we're not talking about a couple hundred bucks here, no. Apparently the LG roster was owed $11,000. Now, since we're dealing with allegations of unpaid money from a legacy org with a big name, this tweet blew up within the Siege scene. The timing couldn't have been worse for LG, because not long after the Factor tweet took off, the org announced that they had signed XQC, one of the biggest Twitch streamers on the planet, to the org. This has been in the rap for months, and I've been waiting to announce this for such a long time, but the day is finally come. I'm proud to announce I'm joining Top Org Luminosity Gaming. And people wasted no time ripping LG for spending money on a big name streamer, but allegedly not paying their former Siege roster. And at first glance, without fully understanding the situation, I can understand why people would be pissed off about this. You have a legacy org accused of not paying one of its former rosters to only turn around a few days later and drop what I can only imagine was a boatload of cash on an extremely popular streamer. But here's the thing, this whole entire situation was resolved in the replies to Factor's original tweet. Weird, right? See, it turns out, according to LG at least, that they didn't owe anyone prize money from those tournaments because they were never paid that prize money from either ESL or Ubisoft. Now, in order to explain why that's the case, I need to give you some quick context. Okay, rewind to May of 2019. Pro League Season 11 has just ended, and it's the last season that's gonna be run by ESL. See, up until this point, ESL organized everything to do with Siege Esports. After Pro League Season 11 ended in May, Ubisoft ended their contract with ESL. And over the next year, Ubisoft debuted a new version of Pro League that we're currently in right now. Now, Ubisoft spent a ton of time pitching this new version of Pro League to a bunch of different teams. And if those teams wanted to be a part of this new version of Siege Esports, they had to apply. Now, this part is confusing, but it's important to understand. LG competed in the old version of Pro League, the version that ESL ran up until May of 2019. And on three separate occasions, LG was signed up to participate in this new version of Pro League. And three times, they dropped out because, according to LG's president, Menashe Kestenbaum, they just couldn't figure out the right business deal with Ubisoft. We ultimately, you know, looked at looked at the league, looked at the ROI in the league, looked at the infrastructure that they had in place to support it, and you know, felt if we had, or if we're going to spend money, we decided to pull out of Rainbow Six and put it into a Valorant team. Now, during all of this back and forth with Ubisoft, LG moved their Siege roster to a team house in Las Vegas right before COVID-19 hit in March of 2020. They were in Vegas because this new version of Pro League was supposed to be a land-based league well, based in Vegas. But then COVID hit, the league went online, and the players were stuck. Now, because LG and Ubisoft couldn't come to an agreement, LG pulled out of Siege Esports entirely, dropped the roster, and instead set their sights on Valorant. The Siege players weren't given a ton of notice, and controversy ensued. We covered this portion of the story way back when it happened. So back on Tuesday, April 14th, Luminosity Gaming Rainbow Six Siege player Hyena dropped a twit longer explaining that the roster was stuck in their Vegas team house because of COVID-19 and they were just released from the org. Now, according to Kestenbaum, despite LG pulling out of Siege Esports entirely, the org paid an extra month's salary on each player's contract, plus they paid an extra month's rent on the team house just to help offset all of the confusion that happened because of the pandemic. 
But okay, why am I telling you all of this? Well, according to Kestenbaum, during the transition between old Pro League and new Pro League, when ESL stopped working with Ubisoft, allegedly a bunch of prize money was never paid out. The same prize money that Factor says that LG allegedly owed him. So the players kept on reaching out to us. We kept on reaching out to Ubisoft. Ubisoft, when they would get back to us, were um, saying, well, we think we paid it out or maybe ESL paid it out. And we said, our finance team said, well, we haven't received anything in that amount. So we're looking for any payment that came to us in the amount that is supposed to come to us and we don't see anything. So it clearly does not come to us. So it was basically this long thing of just like waiting for them to track it down, whether they've paid it or not. The latest is like ESL said that they did pay it out to some bank account, but we're not sure where. So basically the last six months have been one expensive game of hot potato. According to Kestenbaum, Ubisoft is claiming that ESL never sent them the prize money, while ESL is claiming that they did send the prize money. Both parties are basically saying, hey, it's not our problem. And if you look at the replies to Factor's original tweet, LG's main account is basically saying that, that it's all on Ubisoft at this point. Now, according to Kestenbaum, LG has been bugging Ubisoft for months about this, but they keep getting the same response every time. So, okay, back to Factor's original tweet, the thing that kicked this whole story off. In Factor's replies, the founder of LG, Steve Maida, tags Kestenbaum, and Kestenbaum in turn says that LG will pay the prize money out of their own pocket and deal with Ubisoft later. Somewhere along the line, there's like, bunch of middlemen and then the players end up not getting paid. Mm -hmm. So for us, where it's very important that we uh, want to maintain, you know, a proper relationship, yeah, we'll, we'll fork it out, <laughs> even though it's not supposed to be coming from us, it's supposed mm -hmm. to be passed on, and we'll, we'll take the hit. And then in the meantime, uh, finance right now is trying to deal with Ubisoft. And eventually, a few days later, Factor tweeted out confirming that LG said that they were going to pay them the prize money out of pocket. Now, I reached out to Ubisoft hoping that they could clarify the situation or at the very least just give me a statement, but they didn't get back to me in time for publication. So there you go. A six month long don't at me that ended up with the players getting paid. There's a sentence I never thought I'd say. My dog definitely has better taste in music. I mean, she's also listening to Wicca Phase, but, uh, you know, she just woke up from a nap, so she's uh, wondering why the fuck she had. She's three months old. She's still a fucking baby. She's a baby dog, you know? You say hi, Alice? You say hello? Hey? Hello! Yeah, she's. <laughs> yeah.